Yeah, and the government is tonight on the spot after arbitrarily arresting and detaining Senators Cleophas Malala of Kakamega County and his Samburu counterpart, Steve Lelegwe. The two were finally released from custody earlier today, ending two days of drama in the Senate. The two senators who were yesterday whisked by DCI detectives to their respective home counties reportedly to face various charges were released unconditionally without any charges pointing to the notion that their arrests may have been politically instigated. And as Stephen Leto reports, the senators still maintain that they shall not waver. Ugly scenes in Mumia's town in Kakamega County. Senator Cleophas Malala had spent the night in Mumia's police station after he was arrested in Kajiado County and ferried to Kakamega. He is said to have recorded a statement for flouting COVID-19 protocols. As early as 6 a.m., supporters of the senator had begun milling around the police station. By 8 a.m., running battles began. As his supporters engaged police in a cat and mouse game, Malala was however released unconditionally after spending the night within the presence of the station with the DPP recommending that the charges against the senator be dropped. But an attempt to address his supporters was thwarted as police lobbed tear gas to disperse the crowd. Gavi wa Raslimali, mimi msimamo wangu, na ata wakazi wangu kamega wa najua kwamba mimi nikisha chukua msimamo fulani. Mimi siwezi penduza msimamo wangu kwa sababu watu wanataka kunisukuma hivi na hivi. In Samburu, Senator Stephen Lelegwe was set free after being questioned for over two hours at the Maralal police station for allegedly fueling interclan conflict in Samburu North. Awaja sema watanipeleka mahakamani na nimeashiliwa, nimeambiwa ni nimemaliza kuandika statement wakiniitaji Three senators were arrested yesterday while the Senate was convening for the ninth time in a bid to unlock the revenue sharing stalemate to reportedly starve the opposing side of the 24 magic number vote. Stephen Leto, Citizen TV.